the electric bus you see behind me is rather special. This is because it can run all day without needing to go back to its base to recharge. Electric buses have a lot of potential. They're smooth, clean and quiet, so they represent very attractive public service vehicles. But on the downside, it needs a lot of energy to transport people around all day, and if that's to be done without returning to base for a charge, then the battery that the bus would have to carry would be very big. Not only very big, but very heavy and very expensive. And really, such a battery rules out the use of buses uh, on an economic basis when compared with their diesel counterparts. This bus is charged by a novel form of charging, which allows the bus to stop at the end of its route and then recharge without being plugged in. We call this wireless charging. Wireless charging makes all the difference to the performance of this bus because it means that each time it comes to the end of its route as it cycles round day by day, it can take on a little charge. And with many little charges during the course of the day, we call this opportunity charging, uh, we can keep the charge in the battery relatively high. This means we can have a much smaller battery on the bus. And so now we can run the bus economically because we don't have to pay for the battery and neither do we have to carry all that weight. These buses will be doing nearly 50,000 miles a year and that means that they will be called upon to be as reliable and robust as the diesel buses which operate the routes at the moment. And if we can demonstrate that the vehicles work successfully, then the route will be open to taking electric buses out onto the road on many routes around Milton Keynes and not only Milton Keynes but also the rest of the country. So we hope that this demonstration will be the first step in introducing all electric buses all over the city of Milton Keynes and then all over other cities in the UK as well. So this is a demonstration. We're setting out to explore the potential of these buses and to demonstrate how far they can go, both in terms of their technical reliability, uh, their environmental friendliness and the economics of their operation. If we can show that they're environmentally friendly and that they're economical to operate and that they are as reliable and robust as the diesel buses which we think they're going to replace, then we really will have made a landmark of this demonstration test.